Hi everyone, SK Senior, and I'm currently working on some GTA 5 videos and some other stuff as well. But I just wanted to show you this game, Lara Croft and the Temple of Osiris, uh, because this is pretty much one of the most broken games that are out at the moment. Um, when it was launched, it was broken. Subsequently, they've brought out two patches, and each patch has broken the game in turn as well. One of the biggest issues is for the challenges and the stats. So you can see here on the screen, this is what the stat screen should look like. You know, when I've completed it all in this particular tomb and as soon as the patch came out and I installed that this is what the same stat screen looks like now you know, seriously what the fuck you know, zero out of one what you know and only one out of five red skulls how am I supposed to collect the other four when I've already collected them and they're not even in the tomb anymore and if you're thinking that it's just limited to this tomb no it's everywhere every stat screen is screwed up and this is not just for me this is for everybody you can go to the Square Enix forums and see for yourself and I'm going to leave a link to that forum in the description so you can go there and you can see just how many people are having problems with this game and even in the main Shrine of Osiris area this is what the stat screen should look like and this was sort of like taken before I actually did all of these and I actually completed all of them but now it either looks like this or even like this it's, it's different all the time it keeps changing on me and this is a problem that everybody is having as well. I mean, even before the patch, there's been game-breaking glitches and bugs in the game to the point where in co-op mode, there are people that have got to the end of a tomb, collected the bag of gems, where the doors are supposed to open to let you out, and the doors haven't opened and they're stuck there. And because there's an auto save and there's no option to quit the tomb that you're in, I mean, seriously, why isn't there an option to just quit the tomb so you can go back to the map? You know, that was a serious oversight, that was. And they're just stuck there, and no matter what they do, the only thing they can do is either start a new game, so they've both got to start from scratch, from 0% again, or just stop playing the game, which is where I am at at the moment. And it's not like the game's even sold that well anyway, because you can tell that from the community challenges. You can see, like, the uh, bottom one there, which was extended because it couldn't be completed in the first week because so few people have been playing the game. And I got so fed up with the bugs and the glitches and everything else that I thought, screw it, I'm going to use it to my advantage. Used an exploit in one of the tombs, the Tomb of the Lamplighter, and just farmed for points and ended up at number one in the world on there. And yeah, so it is completely broken this game. And if they end up banning me for using an exploit, then I really couldn't care less to be honest with you because I'm pretty much done with this game. Because unless they bring out a patch to fix the last patch, which I can't see them doing because they've brought out two patches that have broken the game, one after another. So, you know, yeah, avoid this game. Don't waste your money. You know, spend your money on something else. And that's it. All right, so I'm um, working on these GTA 5 videos and other stuff. And um, as soon as I've got my next video done, I'll upload that. But for now, take care, everyone. All the best. And I'll see you all again soon.